The Lundstrom Studio began in the 1920s when a 15-year-old girl named Dorothy Lundstrom took over the Ascension School of Dance with her two sisters, Lorraine and Marion. In those 75 years, Dorothy launched what proved to be an amazing legacy on the north side of Minneapolis. Dorothy taught and mentored hundreds of students in the arts of dance, charm, and fashion. Dorothy's charism was beyond that of teacher. She had a unique ability to recognize each person's inner beauty and nurture one's depth of character. Dorothy brought a humanity, uh, a feeling of uh, caring for other people, of sharing, of um, when we get to a place of responsibility, uh, to handle that in a um, positive way to achieve to the best of our ability to use all of our assets and things that are humanly possible uh, to be the best that we can be. She was the most positive mentor and very up and loving, very loving mother to many, many people. One of her greatest gifts that she gave everyone was that, that real self-awareness, that um, uh, feeling of um, you know, who we are comes, comes across when people meet you, um, looking people in the eye when you talk to them, you know, just, it, it was a, just kind of a self, a confidence, a confidence that you came away with thinking, I'm special and, and this is who I am and you present yourself in that way. Dorothy's impact went beyond that of dancing class. Um, she was the role model that my mother always held up to us. Dorothy's impact on my life, um, my strongest memory of her was offering us the chance to sing and dance and act in class and teaching my mother to dance, seeing what a mentor she was for my mother. When Dorothy died in November of 1998, she willed her studio to the five Casterly sisters, daughters of her lifetime pupil and beloved friend, Lois Melsha Casserly. There had been some talk earlier about Dorothy wanting us girls to take over the studio, um, but nothing was ever really nailed down um, until um, actually I received the will in the mail. When we got the word that the will came back saying that she had willed the studio to us, we thought, what does that mean? You know, what do we have to do? Um, do we want to do that? Is that, you know, can, can we do it? I didn't really start out saying, oh, I just have this burning desire to get out and teach and start a big performing arts center. Um, my dad always said, oh, you girls can make a great school if you ever decided to put your heads together and, boy, you could really teach people a lot. We came from the position of Dorothy left us the studio. She always told us she was going to. What are we going to do with this? I mean, this is, a, this is like an awesome responsibility. I guess for me, it, it kind of was... Um, something I couldn't let go. It was I, not necessarily that I had waited my whole life to do this, because I hadn't, but we had all had careers, we had moved away, we had, we had done our professional lives, and it was sort of like, boy, maybe it's time to come full circle. Maybe we need to, you know, really hone, hone in on those skills that we have and give them away and give them to people and share them. And I think we all came to the same conclusion that this was a calling that it needed to stay here that that letting the arts go letting this aspect of Dorothy's memory Dorothy's history the history of all the people that she touched on the north side letting it go would have been a terrible thing to do and we just couldn't walk away from it we couldn't let go of it we said you know what we've got to find out how we can do this how can we make this work things that we would do while we were dancing she would say to us now and we'd be like Dorothy it's too hard I can't do that you know there's no such word as can't you know, she would just make that so clear. And for some reason, that kept ringing true to me, that there is no such word as can't. There's nothing that will stop you. There's nothing you can't do. You know, and, and, um, and we knew that. And so we just had to do it. In the year 2000, the doors reopened with an expanded curriculum of dance, voice, and drama, creating a New York, Minneapolis network for visiting and local performing artists. The Lundstrom Center for the Performing Arts fills a niche in the Twin Cities for beginners as well as musical theater professionals. The veteran faculty has passion, vision, and a desire to give back. 
We talk about Dorothy Landstrom a lot and what she was about, and we try to instill that into our students. You know, I think what we really are is, um, is a place to bring everyone in, a place to really um, make sure that, that each child matters, that each, it's not just a, a run-of-the-mill place where you have a number and you're just one of a million children that come in. Each one is special. It's really important that everybody become involved and aware of what's going on here because we're going beyond the arts. We're really reaching out to people and helping people become better contributing citizens. I knew that they believed in me and whatever I wanted to do. And I had no dance experience and no technique, but it didn't matter to them. And I, I could tell that right away. The teachers are great. They're, um, they're very supportive, they're there, even if it's not about just dancing or, you know, they're there for anything. These girls get an opportunity to come uh, into the center uh, every week and experience dance, music, voice, um, acting. Um, it also gives them an opportunity to see that, you know, the world's not such a bad place. I felt that it's good for us to come here because on Fridays we don't have nothing to do up in our regular groups. I think it's really hard to, to be a teenager or someone in your 20s, especially in this day and age. And when they come in here, each student gets to express themselves. They have really been an outstanding performing arts school for the community. And they have really uh, enabled our children to see that uh, the inner beauty shines through performing arts. People can get to see who they are when they perform. We offer all ages all kinds of things. We get to sing, we get to act, and we have these beautiful little children that are three years old, and then we have our 89-year-olds in here. So we say we want to be here for those who are three to 103. For the young kids, we have ballet, tap, musical theater, singing, acting. And then we have the teen program, which is phenomenal. We have the hip-hop, which they love. We have tap for the adults. A lot of the moms and dads' families come in together. We have holistic programs with them, exercising, Pilates mat. We have group singing classes. Um, the seniors come in for sing and stretch, which is wonderful for them. A lot of people have committed a lot of resources to this area. And this is a niche that we fill, the performing arts, bringing new people to the north side that haven't been here for years and years. I really believe this is a revival of this neighborhood and of, of this entire north side community. What we have done is promise that no one will be turned away because we don't feel that anyone who wants to be in the arts should be turned away just simply because they can't afford it. I have four children plus I have other neighbors kids that you know come with me and I was like oh no I can't afford it. They do not close the door on anyone. The feeling I get from the Lundstrom Center in this place is that no matter who you are or what your dreams are you are the most important person to them. It's a very unique place in that when we open the doors we were full right away, <laughs> with, with all ages. It was unbelievable. It was like the floodgates opened. In order to keep the center alive and moving forward, we need funding. We need money to pay the short-term things. We need money to plan for the future. We want to make sure that we get the word out to the community that, that we're here, that we um, need their support, um, that we can't do it without them. The mission of the Lundstrom Center for the Performing Arts is to cultivate and nurture a love and knowledge of the performing arts with a threefold emphasis, dance, voice, and drama. I guess what we realize that we can do is, is by getting the awareness out there to the people that, that want to help, that want to give a chance to someone who may not have had this opportunity, who may not have ever known Dorothy but lived right here. Um, we want to keep that going. We want to keep her spirit alive. We want to somehow um, give back what my mother and what Dorothy gave to us. Continuing in the tradition of Dorothy Lundstrom, the approach is holistic and grounded in the principle that true beauty comes from within. I'm so happy that the Castellese are doing what they're doing. And it'll be just so wonderful for the North Side and Dorothy's just smiling from ear to ear up there and saying, what's going on?